in last class we have seen some introduction to dbms in that we have seen some basic definitions advantages of dbms system and the drawbacks of the early information systems and some dbms applications today we will see about uh, database architecture and database users first let's see overview of database management system dbms is a complex software system this diagram is simplified form of typical dbms components the database and data dictionary are usually stored on the disk access to the disk controlled by the operating system with the help of file system the dbs staff works on defining the database and tuning the database ddl compiler process schema definitions specified in the ddl and stores descriptions of schema in the data catalog or data dictionary the catalog contains information such as names sizes of files names and data types of data items storage details of each file mapping information among schemas and constraints users interacts with the database by using queries or through application programs application programs contains dml statements those dml statements are compiled by using dml compiler other instructions compiled by host language compiler if you are using java then instructions which are not dml instructions which can be compiled by using the java compiler all these dba commands queries compile transactions run by runtime database processor this calls to the runtime database processor access the disk or database through the file system here concurrency control backup and recovery systems are integrated into the working of runtime database processor for the purpose of transaction management as database systems are made up of complex data structures since many users of database system lack of in depth familiarity with the computer data structures so database developers hide complexity a database approach provides some level of data abstraction generally it hides the details of the organization and storage and highlighting the essential features for improved understanding of data so different users can perceive a data at their preferred level of details we have three levels of abstraction physical level logical level and view level physical level it describes how data actually stored in the database this physical level describe complex low level data structures in detail logical level it describes what data the database stores and what relationships exists among the data logical level describes an entire database in terms of small number of relatively simple structures view level it describes only part of the entire database even though this logical level uses simple structure to describe the database because of variety of information stored in large database it will be very difficult to understand all the users many users of database system do not need all this information instead they need to access only part of the database so this view level will provide many views for the same physical database before discussing database architecture let us see some basics instances and schema let's see schema the description of database is called the database schema which is specified during the database design A pictorial representation of schema is called schema diagram for example if we take university database consists of information about student and course and the relationship between them it is very similar to the type information of variable in a program physical schema database design at the physical level logical schema database design at the logical level this is the example for the schema diagram for this database instance actual content of the database at particular point of time is called instance of database it is very similar to the value of variable 
at some particular point of time this many values are there within the database so it is called as particular instance of database let us see database architecture three schema architecture is an approach to build information system it proposes three different views in system development this external schema is for viewers or users of database system in the conceptual schema integrates uh, this external schema which is for admin users this internal schema defines physical storage here uh, this mapping external conceptual mapping and conceptual internal mapping mapping is used to transform the request and response between levels of architecture the goal of the three schema architecture is to separate the user application from the physical database internal level it has internal schema which describes how data is actually stored within the database internal schema uses physical data model and describes complete details of data storage and access paths for the database for example storing customer information in customer table at physical level these records can be described as block of storage in memory these details are often hidden from the programmers it has conceptual schema which describes the structure of whole database conceptual schema hides the details of physical storage structure and concentrates on describing entities data types relationships and constraints by using simple structures for example if we take the previous database student and courses are the entities and this student contains attributes name student number and class major which are of type string external level it includes number of external schemas or views each external schema describes the part of the database a particular user group is interested in and hides the rest of the database from that user group at view level user interact with the system with the help of gui and entire details at the screen they are not aware of how data is stored and what data is stored such details are hidden from them for example if we take university database conceptual schema will be like this here entities are student faculty course and rooms these three enrolled teachers and meets in are relationships among these entities conceptual schema also define the data types of attributes sid is of type string student name is of type string and gpa is of type real number here physical schema is relation stored as unordered files create indexes on the first column of students faculty and courses relations external schema will different for different users for example if you want to find the names of faculty members and courses they are teaching this can be done by defining the following view suppose uh, let it name it as course information faculty id faculty name and the id of the course he is teaching three schema architecture can be used to explain the concept of data independence data independence means capacity to change schema at one level of database system without having to change the schema at next higher level there are two types of data independence physical data independence logical data independence physical data independence physical data independence is the ability to modify physical schema without changing the logical schema modifications at the physical level are occasionally necessary to improve the performance of database for example if you want to replace the hard disk it should not have any impact on the logical data or schema logical data independence the ability to change logical schema without changing the external schema or application programs if we do some changes on table format it should not affect the user views or application programs for example consider two users a and b both are selecting the fields employee number and employee name if user b adds new column to employee table example salary it will not affect the external view of the user a 
even though internal schema of database has been changed for both users A and B. Means even internal schema changed, the view of user A will not be changed. A logical data independence is more difficult to achieve than physical data independence since application programs are heavily dependent on the logical structure of the data that they access. Let's see database users. Database users are differentiated by the way they interact with the database system. First, application programmers. They are developers interact with the system through DML calls. DML queries might be written in application programming languages like Java, Python, PHP. Second one, sophisticated users. Sophisticated users means they can be engineers, business analysts. They are familiar with the database system. They use SQL-like languages to interact with the database. Specialized users. They are also sophisticated users. Uh, they might be like a scientist. Write specialized database applications that do not fit into traditional data processing framework. Navy users. They do not have any DBMS knowledge but frequently use the DBMS applications. For example, bank clerks and the people at the railway reservation booking counters. Database administrators. They maintain entire database system like acquiring software and hardware resources and they will take care of backup and efficiency operations. They have good understanding of the enterprises information resources and needs common database administrator duties are storage structure and access method definition schema and physical organization modification and granting users authority to access the database means they will restrict the access permissions and give the access permissions and they will handle the backup and they will monitor the performance and they will monitor the performance of database system